Doola do and welcome to another tutorial in web development. This is part 4 in the series where I show you how to make bouncing balls in the HTML5 canvas. So let's carry on from where we left off uh, from the last tutorial. Uh, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the function that uh, draws a ball. So function circle x I'm going to pass a x value where to draw the circle and then a y value to which is where we the you know the y position where we, we want to draw the circle and then the uh, radius of the um, circle and the color of the circle so when we call this function we will send all of these values so let's start off by drawing a circle. Yeah, drawing a circle. CTX context begin path. This which this will basically begin a path. The the way you use the context is that you first you make the path, then you fill the path, or you uh, you can stroke the path or color what you're stroking uh, but let's start with just making the path so uh, ctx dot arc uh, x position we want to start the arc the y position the radius of the arc zero you can read more about the arc function on w3 schools website and now do math which is a built-in function dot pi I'm sure you know what pi is, is times 2 and true and I don't really want to explain that let's just carry on that will make a circle at this position with this radius ctx dot close path ok our path for the circle is done now let's fill it fill uh, ctx dot fill style equals c so we set the color of the fill to the color that we are passing to this function ctx dot fill this is a method that's filling the path that we just made with the color that we just said that we wanted to have and then stroke stroke let's make the stroke ctx dot line with equals r times 0 dot 1 so the the stroking width will be uh, the 10 percent of the radius of the ball so the small balls will get a uh, thin border and the big balls will get a uh, thick border ctx dot stroke style equals and then you can put black or a hexadecimal 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 which also is black and then ctx dot stroke which is a method that strokes the path so now that function is done now we wanna make a function that uh, that returns a random color because as you can remember the, all the balls had different random colors function random color parentheses curly brackets and then put a new variable called letters and set it equal to one two zero one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, a b c d a b c d e f and this is um, this is all the 
hexadecimal values and you uh, specify in CSS, you specify colors within hexadecimal value six signs. Uh, yeah, so that's basically a string with all the the possible values. Now write dot split parentheses uh, then just two quotation marks with nothing between not a space just nothing. So quotation quotation um, and then semicolon. So this will split this string of all the values into a array where for example letters letter 0 will be 0, letter 1 will be 1, letter 2 will be 2, letter uh, uh, yeah so on somewhere up here the, the, the these will be. Let's carry on uh, var color equals hashtag so this will hold the, the resulting color of this the color that will that this function will return so for variable i equals 0 i is less than 6 because we want 6 um, 6 of these in our color variable i plus plus uh, and so f six times this will kind of loop through make this color plus equals um, plus equals this will attach if I do plus equals uh, a uh, it will get attached here and then the second time this loops and it is uh, for example 5 5 will be here and then equals 8 and 8 will get stuck here so that's what plus equals does to strings so we want a plus equals letters letter and now the index which could be something like 0, 5 or 6 but we want this to be random so we get a random color so math.random parentheses uh, so oh sorry math.round and then parentheses and then inside of this parentheses do math dot random parenthesis times 15 and then a semicolon in the end of the row so we will basically access one of these by typing letter which is the array and this is the index so uh, math.random will uh, uh, return a, a number between uh, 0 and 1 and that will then be multiplied by 15 so if it's 0 it will be 0 times 15 which is 0 or if it's 1 it will be 1 times 15 which is um, 15 so we'll get uh, uh, all the possible outcomes is between 0 and 15 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on and we have 16 of these so that's why we have 15 right here um, yes because this is a zero th zero th th the first is 0 and this is the 15th but we also get a l uh, awful lot of you know decimal numbers like uh, uh, 5.5 dot 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. So that's why we use the math dot round. So we get a um, an integer, a whole number. And if you don't understand this, it's not a big deal. Let's uh, finish off this function by typing return color and then every time you write random color uh, this will be returned and this will be a random color so we're now create we have now created two functions and we're almost done with our program can't see much progress right here in the browser but I promise you just a few more lines of codes and we will see balls bouncing all over the place. So, see you in the next tutorial. Bye.